Summer is here. When it arrives, we all feel it. Heat clings to us. It changes the way we move. Sometimes the warmth on my skin seems to bring me alive, like my whole body is made of sunlight. Sometimes it is so thick, I feel like I'm underwater. can't stop worrying about the heat. My friends, the summer before we met, I travelled far away to a distant island. I wanted to heal myself, to sink my entire body into water, cooler than the earth. While I was there, I became familiar with a local fish. It was trawling up and down the coastline, biting all the tourists. The bite was sharp. It made it impossible to float, to lose yourself. Everyone on the beach was talking about the fish. They kept saying it had never been so aggressive before. But the sea had gotten hotter that year and the fish couldn't handle it. I feel like I can relate to that, my friends. When it's hot, everything needs more room to breathe. I am stripping away superfluous layers, wanting to shave off all my hair. I can't stop thinking about it. These fish, who for years seemed absolutely fine about sharing their homes with pale, splashing legs, suddenly screaming, just give me space. I can't stop worrying about the heat.
It is so hot, my friends, that we have expanded your small domain. I've wanted to do this for so long, to give you a sense of freedom, even if it's just an illusion. I think you should be able to choose how often you get to feel the breeze move over you. I wish I could take you all the way outside and give you space to fall in love with all of it. Every patch of dirt and each abandoned corner. The unexpected moments of joy we trip over when we least expect it. The sense that life will always be peeping through the cracks. I want you to be surprised, my friends. I want you to travel through this long, hot summer like they do in the movies, as if life were an infinite road. Effortless, roof down, wind in our hair. So much of summer is the feeling of endlessness, the sense of there being no limit to what's in front of us. So much of heat is about tempering it with air. I need you to understand we are all connected. You and me and the blades of grass and the long grey road and one little tumbleweed in the vast wide desert. The planet is changing in ways I don't know how to talk about. Sometimes it seems like the sky is angry. Not many summers from now, I think we will all know what it means to be a biting fish. Sometimes I want to burn it all down and get it over with, but not really. I think that's just fear. Sometimes it's easier to imagine one grand crescendo than to have to face not knowing what might happen next. If the heat is telling us anything, my friends, it's not to drive faster, it's to slow down and enjoy the ride a little. But I can't take you far enough. I need you to know everything. Every house and wall and tiny window, every root, every rock, every microbiome. I can't take you far enough. What I really want is to chip away at all the tiny cracks where life resists, to break through the tarmac, to make more room for joy to grow in unexpected places. I can't take you far enough, but I can make our tiny world a little bigger. I can bring you fragments of my journey. I can love them, pack them into boxes to stack and grow until we have built ourselves a garden. Friends, I can teach you how to tend to it. You can teach me to rest. I can offer you shelter. I can show you what it means to fall in love with the sky. It's every shade of weather. I can't stop worrying about the heat, my friends. But I don't think I can fix it either. It's not my job to keep the whole world turning. Friends. What can we do but love this little patch within our reach? May we care for it. May we build a space for life to flourish. May we find the little cracks for light to shine through. May the cracks always seem wider than the road. <laughs>